गाइस वेलकम टू ओनली इंग्लिश लिटरेचर चैनल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड जॉन कीट्स ओड ओड टू अ नाइट एंगल स्पीकर सेज हिज हार्ट इज इन पेन एंड हिज बॉडी हैज बिकम टायर्ड एंड नम ही फील्स लाइक ही ड्रैंक द पॉइजनस हेमलॉक प्लांट और सम काइंड ऑफ ओपियट ड्रग एंड फेल इन टू द वॉटर्स ऑफ लीदी लीदी इज द रिवर इन द एंशंट ग्रीक मिथोलॉजिकल अंडर वर्ल्ड that makes forget everything he is jealous of the nightingale's voice at the same time he is too happy to hear the nightingale's beautiful voice speaker paradoxically says he is too happy but he is not happy from inside as human beings are mortal but nightingale's song is immortal he compares the bird with dryad dryad is a mythical tree spirit He says that the nightingale is singing the song with all its potential. Now the speaker wishes to have some vintage wine that has been stored for years deep in the earth. Wine that tastes of flowers and the countryside of dancing, folk singing and happy sunshine. Speaker was to remain intoxicated to enjoy the unconsciousness and to escape all the pressures and suffering of human life. If he hopes to drink a bottle of wine that would transport him to warmer southern lands, one full of water from the mythical Hippocrene spring that grants poetic inspiration. The bubbles would play on the surface of the glass and in his wine-stained mouth. He could get drunk, forget the world and escape with the nightingale away into the dark forest. These lines infer that speaker's mind is dangling between intoxication and relief from suffering. Speaker longs to disappear, to forget what the nightingale has never known. Nightingale will never know a man's struggle to live a life. In the human world, humans share each other's pain. The pain of diseases, the pain of youth fading away. For humans even just to think about this all cause suffering heavy sadness and pain in the human world beauty and love never last forever speaker longs to fly away from this world of pain with nightingale he does not need a ride from bacchus the god of wine he changes his mind to ride on the wings of poetry as human mind or his consciousness making him confuse the night is gentle and the moon the queen of the sky is sitting on a throne surrounded by her stars but it's dark where the speaker is standing with only a small amount of light making its way through the lush but gloomy trees and winding moss covered paths he is trying to say that although her whole world is there but he has only a ray of hope a ray of belief in him to attain the enlightenment which adds a tint of spirituality on the poem speaker cannot sense the smell of flowers neither can he see them in the dark the darkness surrounded the trees with the fruits shrubs and the full grown grass there are hawthorns and sweet briars and purple violets these are the name of flowers that he could sense they are all hiding under the mulch of leaves on the forest floor and other scented flowers would bloom soon in the summer evening speaker's mood darkens as long as he listens to the nightingale song but why he romanticizes death in his own way in his poetry after listening to the song he feels is the right time to die he tells nightingale to let its ecstatic ecstatic means joyful or pleasant song to pour out from his soul poet contemplates about that if suddenly he dies then the nightingale will still sing his song but it will be futile to his ears as he says to the nightingale that you are not born mortal like me you will have new generations to present your song in front of them the song will remain the same and it's the same song that the poet heard in the courts of kings and emperors 
He cites an example of biblical times when Ruth, who was stuck by her mother-in-law after she herself was widowed, stood in fields of corn. He does not say that nightingales are immortal, but their songs are immortal. Is the same song that would charm open the windows of ships on dangerous seas, the same song that could be heard in the forlorn lands where fairies live. Speaker thinks of the word forlorn, which makes him realize again that he is alone in this world. He bids Nightingale with goodbyes and tells it that the song grows quiet when the Nightingale pass over meadows, over the stream and the hills. In the last few lines, the poet questions himself. Was all of this real or an illusion? The Nightingale's music has gone, but is he awake or asleep? These questions perplex us about the poet's presence that he is alive or dead. Dreaming allows dreamers to escape the reality which gives freedom from all the mundane constraints. For more detailed explanation like this regarding English literature, subscribe to this channel right now.